How's it going everyone? This is Carlisle and I'm going to be showing you guys the bard build that I use. Now uh, if anyone's been following there's been a recent update which has increased the uh, damage that bard does significantly so I decided to see if I can make a valid uh, dueling or 1v1 spec out of it and uh, I'd say it's been pretty successful so far. So uh, the way that I chose to go was 44 and a bard. Uh, 44 for a uh, verse of vitality and especially the f at least the 41 to get harmonic distortion and uh, reverberation here which uh, this one has a 20% chance per combo point so 100% chance if you have all five to uh, increase your attack power by 8% and it'll stack up to five times and this one here will give you a 20% chance per combo point to increase your damage by 5% and this also stacks up to five times and also, uh, anytime you have a stack, you can use this to heal yourself or one of your teammates. <clears throat> so that's pretty, uh, it's pretty good to have. Uh, on top of that, I went four inside of a uh, tactician just so that I could get cured of engine, and I chose to uh, put the points in the ionization for some increased damage. Especially since I went so far in the rift stalker, I feel felt like uh, pretty much any boost to a. Uh, damage that I can get would uh, be beneficial because I mean I want like I said I want this to be a 1v1 spec or a dueling spec so I need to be able to dish out some damage as well so with that when I went into the uh, rift stalker tree I chose predominantly the uh, the skills that would increase your uh, damage as well and I also uh, went high enough up and to uh, get the uh, shields here which uh, really come in handy so uh, to kind of give you a rundown on the way that the spec works is uh, you have, as you can see, I have a pretty decent amount of health and I can absorb and take a pretty decent amount of damage. So the idea was to see if I could do damage and still heal myself at the same time. So uh, I have Cadence, which is constantly has, which constantly has heals incoming. Uh, motive of regeneration which has heals incoming and curative engine which has heals incoming so that's a lot of incoming heals uh, consistently if you're taking damage and on top of that uh, if you happen to have a uh, bloodthirsty and bloodthirsty like most or a lot of PvPers do and then I have boosted recovery which increases the healing that I uh, receive as well as uh, heals you 150 percent of your attack power every time you kill someone so those two will both proc every time you, you uh, get a kill there. So that's a lot of incoming heals that you'll get. And not to mention you have two other abilities which increase the amount of healing that you have uh, incoming there. So so it's a pretty good amount of heals. So now to uh, get to the skills here and I'll show you the macros that I use. Bear with me a little bit. They're kind of scattered here. <clears throat> Alright so uh, I have my blink ability which uh, I chose to use the uh, attacking blinks as well as a uh, shadow blitz which was predominantly to use for uh, whenever you get uh, stunned or something of that nature and I put them in one macro together just so that I could use them when I want to because uh, every time you use them uh, it'll proc stalker phase to do an additional 15% 15, 15 damage as well as uh, your absorb shield from the rift stalker will uh, proc and they only last for about 10 seconds so you kinda wanna space it out as best as you can so that you have one available whenever you need to but you also have shadow shift so you have a total of four uh, phase shifting abilities uh... let's see the next one is my healing macro which is right here and uh... this one here i uh... have a lot of the uh, ascended abilities here uh, I'm not really going to go through all of them. If you have them, you have them. If you don't, you don't. But uh, I'll, Anathema is one that if you do have, you want to make sure that you have in here. It'll uh, reduce the healing that uh, your target receives by 10%, which is good if you're uh, focusing healers, which I typically do. And actually, I'm capable of putting some decent pressure on. Uh, past that is Rift, which will give you five combo points right off the bat. So I... Depending on the, how the match is going, I can, once that procs, I'll use Virtuoso, use Code of Distress, Code of Jeopardy, and then spam my Code of Wrath. 
And uh, this will increase the physical damage they take by 7%, 7 uh, causing them to take an additional 1,500 damage. And then, you know, spam Code of Wrath for a, a decent little burst. And uh, depending on the target that you're attacking, they can take some pretty decent damage. I've hit up to 4k with crits on a Code of Wrath, and some three, between 3 and 4k is consistently, depending on how uh, squishy the target is. And uh, beyond that, Verse of Agony, which is your hardest hitting attack. Uh, power Cord, which will heal you and your party members for an amount. Uh, Planar Refuge from the Rift Stalker Tree, which, which uh, reduces the damage that you take by 30%. Now, you can choose not to have this in a macro and use it whenever you feel so that it's uh, in a more, you know, a more strategical manner. If you feel like you actually need to use the ability so that you don't waste it if you don't need to. But I personally am not too concerned about it. And uh, Cleanse Soul, I decided to keep here to just automatically cleanse me whenever it's up, if I have any poisons or diseases and things like that. And then uh, Verse of Vitality for the uh, heal from the uh, Bar Tree. Uh, and Cadence, which is my spam ability, so I can always have my heals incoming. And then uh, I have Break Free here, just so uh, I can. it'll pretty much be used anytime uh, someone stuns me or anything like that. It'll get used automatically and it helps your reaction time to be a lot quicker to automatic to already have it inside of your macro and aside from that the other macro I have is my damage macro which is just cadenza literally the only difference between the two is cadence and cadenza so that's the way I decided to set it up there alright so uh I'm gonna show you a rotation that I use here. So uh, if able, I'll typically start uh, by using one of the uh, blink abilities just so that I can get the uh, buffs. And well, of course, I'll have my uh, motifs up first, then use the blink ability. And uh, depending on the situation, uh, I'll either use Code of Distress and Code of Jeopardy before I start a my big burst or I'll <clears throat> use uh, Virtuoso and then I'll use the two once I have my uh, five combo points so that I can start spamming the attack and uh, beyond that if you're healing you just you know kinda sit back and don't focus on using Virtuoso so much if you're actually trying to be effective as a healer because uh, while you're doing that you're just gonna be doing damage and you're not really gonna be doing much of healing so I'll show you rotation here real quick But uh, yeah, so uh, that's a pretty simple rotation. So you use Cadenza pretty much if you're trying to deal more damage and you're not so much concerned about healing yourself or your teammates. And you use Cadence if you feel like your healing is more important in the situation. And uh, also I have Rift Disturbance here, which I do keep off to the side. And I primarily have this here in case uh, I know there are stealth rogues around, just so that I can break their stealth and things like that. And uh, there will be a link to the... Uh, the uh, build being used inside of a uh, PvP here pretty soon. There's already one up, but I have a better one that I just recently recorded actually, right before uh, starting to record this video. So uh, hopefully the two of them will actually upload, and you'll get to see these. And hopefully the builds work out well for you. 
And uh, if you guys have any requests or anything like that, and uh, if there's anything that you would like to know or anything that I may have missed, just uh, let me know. Leave a comment down there at the bottom and uh, hit the like button if you don't mind and you do like what you see. So uh, take care, everyone.